quite sure how, but it has been almost 18 months since I had my weight loss surgery. It is time. Time is just absolutely flying. And you guys have been asking me over and over and over again to come and give you an update because it has been about six months since I last updated you on how things are going with my weight loss journey. So it's definitely about time that I came and had a bit of a chat with you, gave you a bit of an update, let you know how the past, it's been about five and a half months have gone, let you know what the future is looking like, what my plans are and if and how much weight I have lost in the last five and a half months. So that's what we're gonna do in today's video. If you're new here, my name is Trina Louise. I had weight loss surgery, like I said, almost 18 months ago, and I have been sharing that journey with you. I also make videos about plus size fashion and travel and just general life. So if you aren't already subscribed, I would absolutely love it if you wanted to stick around. All you have to do is press the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything, but it just means that you get to keep on top of what videos I'm posting. And it also helps me out as a creator massively. And if you could give this video a thumbs up as well, if you like it, then I know that you still wanna see more videos like this, more weight loss content, that sort of thing. So before we jump into an overview of the past five, six months, I just wanna say a massive thank you to today's sponsor, HelloFresh. If you've been here for a while, guys, you will know that I have been a huge fan of HelloFresh for a long time, well before I even started working with them. I love how easy HelloFresh makes dinner time for me. I'm not very good at planning for meals, buying ingredients, taking the time to cook yummy, healthy, nutritious food. So HelloFresh massively helps with that. Their calorie smart range is super, super helpful for me because all of the meals in that range are 650 calories and under, and they've really helped me along this journey. I love with HelloFresh that all I need to do is log on, pick my menu, there's over 44 meals to choose from, tell HelloFresh what I want, and it turns up on my doorstep with all of the ingredients that I need. And all I have to do is follow some really simple instructions to cook the meals. It honestly makes meal time a million times easier for me. It just takes away the stress of me having to sit down and think, oh my goodness, what on earth am I gonna cook this week for dinner? It just makes it so, so easy and it's always so yummy. And it also introduces me to some different meals that I wouldn't have thought to make. We absolutely love HelloFresh in this house. The meal that I made that you're seeing right now was so, so yummy and we're definitely gonna be making this again. I just find HelloFresh so quick, easy, and convenient and the fact that they offer meals for under 650 calories is just so so helpful if you're on a weight loss or on a health journey like I am so I would definitely recommend that you check out HelloFresh. HelloFresh have given me a discount code to share with you it's TL60. This will give you 60% off your first box, 20% off your first two months of boxes and you'll get some free gifts. So it's a great way to try out HelloFresh at a discounted rate and see what you think. I'll leave my link down in the description box and the QR code on screen in case you wanna try out HelloFresh for yourself. If you do, please let me know what you think down in the comments and let me know what your favorite HelloFresh meal is because I'm always excited every week when I log on to see what the meals are for that week. I'm always really excited to see what I've got to choose from. Thank you so, so much to HelloFresh for your continued support of my channel. It means the absolute world. Now let's get back to the weight loss update. So, like I said, it has been nearly six months since I last did an update. It's been about, Five, coming up to five and a half months since I did my one year post-surgery update. I'll link that in the description box and in the cards in case you wanna check it out. And that'll give you a bit more of an overview of the first 12 months. Cause in this video, I'm really gonna be concentrating on the last sort of five and a half months. It's been, it's, it's been a bit difficult if I can be honest with you guys. I really have felt that and, and I knew this would happen. I just don't think I knew it would happen as much as it has. The tool that surgery gave me has really, really, um, it's not completely lost its effect in any way, shape or form, but it isn't as impactful as it was. And that was bound to happen. That is meant to happen. The small amount of food that you can eat just after surgery is not sustainable for life. It is meant to, over time, allow you to eat more so that it allows you to get to a healthy maintenance level of calories and food. It's just happened a little bit quicker and a little bit more drastically than I maybe expected it would. So I'll give you some stats and then I'll talk to you about what has happened over the past five and a half months. 
So, when I started my weight loss journey, I was 367.2 pounds. Since we checked in five and a half months ago, I've lost 13.2 pounds. So I've lost nearly a stone, but that has taken me five and a half months. So any loss is great, but that to me is really quite disappointing. And I wish I wasn't disappointed by that, but I am unfortunately. What this does mean though, is that I have lost a total of 128.8 pounds in stone, because I know we all use different metrics. That's nine stone and 2.8 pounds. In kilograms, that's 58 kilograms, 58.46 kilograms. So I've lost an amazing amount of weight. I just still have quite a lot of weight to lose because I am currently, as of today, 238.4 pounds. That's 17, point no 17 stone and 0.4 pounds. So I'm almost into the 16 stone bracket. So I still have a chunk of weight to lose. And some people who have their surgery have my current weight as their starting surgery. So I still feel like I have a heck of a journey to go on. So I think that's why to have only lost just over 13 pounds in like five, five and a half months is disappointing to me because it hasn't been easy to lose that weight. I really have struggled to do that. And I'm not ready for this to be the end of my weight loss journey, of my health journey, of my feeling better in my body journey. And I'll talk to you towards the end of this video about what my plans are for the near future because I have plans. I have plans. We're gonna do something and I'm hoping it's gonna have an impact. Um, so over the past five and a half months, I've tried a lot of things. I did the soft 75 challenge or I did a part of the soft 75 challenge. Um, I did a bit of an update video recently where I talked through what happened during that challenge and why I didn't complete it. But that was a, a good thing for me to do because it really focused my mind and made me have sort of non-negotiable actions that I had to do every day. And I realized that having something like that really works for my brain. Having some kind of challenge that I'm sharing with you um, really works for me. So spoiler, I'm about to do a new challenge and we'll talk about it at the end of the video. So the thing I think that has made the past five or so months so hard or well, there's a couple of things. One is the amount of food that I can eat. Now I cannot eat anywhere near as much as I could eat before surgery. So that's what I'm saying, like the, t the tool is still working. It's just not working as much as I thought it would. I still can't eat as much, but I do get some quite intense cravings for food and I can eat a lot more often as well. So all those things combined can be a little bit of a recipe for disaster. I'm finding that the afternoon period is where I struggle the most. Like in the morning, I'm a little bit hungry. In the evening, I'm not as hungry, but those hours between sort of three and six, it's like the hung, the, it's not even hunger in the same, in, in the sense that like my belly's rumbling because it's not that, it's, it's in my head. The cravings can feel so intense and the amount of snacks that I can eat during those hours is just ridiculous. So if anyone else experiences this and, and has found something to help them, please let me know because it's been really, really a struggle and it's been quite upsetting and quite intense, to be honest, going, like experiencing that. And it's so strange to me that it's, it, it's sort of a cycle that happens every day and I don't know what's causing it. I can't explain it. I just know that it's really difficult to deal with and it's really frustrating because it's like it, it consumes my mind for those hours. When I'm busy and I'm out of the house, that helps a lot. Um, it's worse when I'm at home and I can think about it. Um, so I do know that keeping myself out of the house and keeping myself busy does help, but that's just not practical as an everyday thing. So I'd love to know if anyone else experiences something like this and what you do to maybe cope with it because it's been, it's been pretty intense. One of the things that I have tried to do to combat this intense feeling of cravings and mind hunger was to try weight loss injections again. Now, 
if you don't know, I did try weight loss injections before my surgery. I tried Saxenda and it didn't work for me. I, I felt like a minuscule effect, but they didn't solve any problems and I was spending a lot of money on them and I was having some side effects that weren't pleasant. So they didn't work for me and that's um, part of the journey that I was on to then decide to have weight loss surgery. I never, ever, 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 ever in a million years expected that I would try them again. I'm not on them anymore and we'll talk about that in a moment but I am I have been seeing more and more about how they can be used as a tool alongside weight loss surgery to help with the the longer term journey that some of us are on and maintenance of that weight loss so before Christmas maybe a month maybe six weeks before Christmas I was feeling quite desperate to be honest I'd not lost any weight for a couple of months I was working hard, I was trying lots of things, I was going to the gym a lot, I'd been doing my 70 soft, 75 soft challenge and it felt like nothing was working and I was feeling really quite desperate because as I said at the beginning I've still got a chunk of weight to lose to get to a healthy weight, whatever that looks like. I, I still don't have an end goal, it's just, you know, I know that I'm not done. And so I decided to try weight loss injections. I tried semaglutide, which is also known as a Zempic. Um, it just, I think it's all different branding of, of the injection. Um, but it's the one you've probably heard a lot about recently on social media or in the press. Um, so I decided to give that a go. So I started the injections at the beginning of November and I stopped taking them about two weeks ago. So that's November, December, January. I'd, yeah, about three months I did the injections for. And at the beginning, I, I thought that I could feel a bit of difference. I felt like my cravings were a little bit quieter. My brain was a little bit quieter and I did think that it was helping. But that didn't last very long. I feel like I only felt that small benefit for the first six weeks probably and I was increasing my dose as you're meant to because if you don't know you start on a really low reduced um, dosage so your body has time to get used to having the um, medicine in your system and you increase over time and I, I was doing the increases and I was hoping that within each increase it would help a little bit more but I just wasn't feeling any difference and especially after the first sort of six weeks or so I felt basically exactly the same as I was feeling before I started on the injections and so I was just spending all this money on these injections and just not feeling the benefit that I was really hoping to which was really to quieten my mind and to stop me thinking and wanting food. So I decided about two weeks ago to stop taking them and I think the proof in the pudding for me has been that I haven't felt any different since I stopped taking them. So this is really conf like conflicting for me because in my brain I'm like well you're just a double failure because weight loss surgery wasn't enough and then you you have these injections which you know is another drastic step and that's still not worked for you so what is wrong with you that you cannot manage your cravings and your brain and you can't continue to lose weight even with all of this support in place that's what's going on in my head. Um, and I think that part of the reason that I haven't talked about the injections so far is that one, I wanted to get used to them before so that I could share my experience with you. And two, everything that I've just said, like why are they not working for me? What is wrong with me that even with all this extra support, I still can't do it. Um, so yeah, it's been a really frustrating thing for me that one, I felt the need to try another drastic step and two, this drastic step didn't work for me. So I don't know, I'm being really open with you guys about that and about how I'm feeling. Um, I'm a bit nervous to share this experience. And this isn't to say that the injections wouldn't work for you. This isn't a judgment on anyone who's taking them because like I said, I've tried them twice. Um, it's just that for some reason they don't work for me and they didn't work for me before my surgery and they haven't worked for me post my surgery. So. That's something I tried, it didn't work, I'm moving on, I'm having to just accept it and start thinking about what I can do instead of that. And the thing is I didn't want to be on those injections long term anyway, so it was never a long term solution for me, it was a short term solution. So 
I need to start thinking about long-term life long solutions. Before I start talking a little bit about the future, something that I've had a lot of comments and questions about recently is loose skin and skin removal surgery. I personally feel like I am nowhere near where I would want to be to have skin removal surgery. At the beginning of this journey, I was very much in the mindset that I didn't want to have the surgeries and that if I didn't need to, I wouldn't want to. I still feel that way, but I think I'm feeling more realistic that I probably will need to. I have um, always had a really low hanging apron stomach and that is not no lotions nor potions are going to make that snap back and so i will at some point probably have weight loss surgery what that looks like i don't know how many surgeries what format like all that detail i do not know i haven't really even started looking into it because in my mind i'm still so far away from that point and it scares me so much that i don't have the brain power and the energy to put into that process right now. I will absolutely share that journey with you when it comes, but I'm not there yet. Um, I do have loose skin, but I still have a lot of excess fat on my body. So my loose skin is still quite full of fat at the moment. I notice it the most on my thighs, like I can see like the jiggle and I can like grab at it. And my belly does feel looser than it used to, like it just feels less Full. and obviously on my arms got my bingo wings um and I noticed today like that which I'm not a big fan of like hello loose skin on the chin um but at the moment there's still so much excess weight for me to lose that I don't really you know when people can like really like twist and turn their loose skin and like grab it like I can't do that because I'm still like I said I'm still got a lot of weight to lose so Without a doubt, I'm going to have excessive uh, loose skin and I will 95% sure have it removed in some way, shape or form. I'm just not there yet. And when I do it, it's going to be something I do once. So I want to be where I know I'm going to maintain and that might be where I am now. I really hope it's not, but we'll have to see. I want to have felt that I've done everything I can to get to a certain point before I then invest the time, the energy, the money, the pain, the pain <laughs> um, in having um, skin removal surgery. So I don't see that happening for a couple of years. Um, because I think you have to have maintained a certain weight for like six months so that, because they don't want you to fluctuate um, your weight after you've had skin removal surgery. So I think you have to maintain for like six months and I want to be happy with that maintenance um, before I invest as I just said. So skin removal surgery is probably going to be in my life at some point, but not for the foreseeable. So you may be asking, what am I going to do differently so that I'm not sat here in a month, two months, three months, whenever we do our next update and feeling the same? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set myself another challenge because I realised that that works quite well for me and for my brain. Now, I'm not going to do anything as sort of um, strict as the 75 soft challenge where I had to work out every day. Blah, blah, blah. Like It's going to be a little bit more lenient because I need to make it work for me. And I am in a really busy, hectic time in my personal life at the moment. So I want to do something that's going to challenge me and motivate me, but be realistic and sustainable. So Adam and I, Adam's my boyfriend, are going on the most exciting holiday in 50 days. We are going to Dubai, Singapore and Thailand. We've got a three week trip planned and I'm going to vlog it all, so don't worry. Um, I'm so, so excited about sharing it with you. I'm going to use that holiday as motivation to see what I can do in 50 days. Now, I'm going to be realistic. I know that 50 days isn't the longest period of time. I'm not going to see any drastic differences. But if I can lose a little bit of weight, if I can feel a bit stronger, a bit fitter, so that when I'm on this holiday and we want to go and walk and see viewpoints and do yoga on the beach and all of these things, I just feel a little bit more able in my body. That would be amazing. If it just keeps me focused and motivated and helps me to push through some of these issues and cravings that I've been experiencing, then that is great. I really don't have a name for this challenge. I should have thought about that in advance, but I haven't. The 50 day challenge, the 
holiday prep and glow challenge? I have no idea. Let me know in the comments if you've got any ideas for what I should call the challenge and you can like each other's comments. So if you like the name that anyone suggests, give it a like and maybe one of you guys can figure out a fancy name for this challenge for me because I am going to document it on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok um, so that I can share it with you. And I'm just going to get up the rules of my challenge because I've written them all down. So like I said, it's a 50 day challenge. I go away in 51 or 52 days. So it gives me time to complete the challenge before I go. I'm going to do four workouts a week. Now this is part of me being realistic with what my life looks like at the moment. I've got a lot going on. I've got my sister's wedding. I've got um, weekends away. I've got just, Things in my life that mean going to the gym every single day is not realistic and is setting me up to fail. And I want to be able to commit to this and stick to it. So four workouts a week, that's gonna look like one yoga session and three strength training, weightlifting sessions at the gym. I can do more, these are minimum standards. This is like, you must do this, not this is all you're gonna do. So at least four workouts a week. Seven and a half thousand steps a day, minimum. Again, not what I'm aiming for. I'd love to do 10, but at a bare minimum, I'm gonna do seven and a half thousand steps a day. I am gonna have a minimum of 100 grams of protein every day, ideally 120, but at a minimum, 100 grams of protein. Protein is so important for all of us, especially those of us who have had weight loss surgery. So a bare minimum of 100 grams of protein. I will drink a liter and a half of water a day, minimum, ideally two liters. And saying this has made me realize I'm behind on my water today already. Mm -mm -mm. I find it really, really, really hard to get my water in these days. Before surgery, I used to drink so much water but it's just been really hard post-surgery. And on some days I haven't even been drinking half a liter. So I know that I need to be drinking at least two liters realistically, but just, just for the next 50 days, a bare minimum of a liter and a half, ideally two, but I must, 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 must drink a liter and a half, which is three times as much as I have been drinking on some days. So, you know, realistic, but, but challenging targets. <laughs> so a liter and a half of water a day, and then something that I think is gonna be quite difficult for me, but I know is really gonna help me because I've got proof that when I do this, I do better. I am gonna track all of my food. Now I've got in my mind like an ideal um, amount of calories that I'm gonna eat in a day, but the bigger goal for me is to track everything because I do find that naturally by tracking, I hit my goals better. So that is what I'm gonna do. Four workouts a week, track all my food, seven and a half thousand steps minimum, 100 grams of protein minimum, or a liter and a half of water a day minimum. And I'm gonna do this for 50 days and we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna share regular updates with you on YouTube, maybe once a week, maybe once a week and a half. I am gonna be doing little daily vlogs, sharing updates with you more real time on Instagram and TikTok. So if you don't follow me already, it's just Miss Trina Louise. I'll leave the links down below. Um, but I wanna make sure that this content is really easy to share because I think that was a problem with my 75 soft challenge. I was making these like curated voiceover videos that I absolutely loved, but like writing the script took quite a long time and it was just a blocker. <laughs> Summer's just uh, popped her head through the door. Summer's my puppy, by the way. It was just a blocker for me sharing that content and I had like two weeks of content filmed that I never even ended up sharing with you guys. So I'm gonna make easy to keep on top of content to share with you. So that is my almost 18 month update. I am still so, 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 so proud of myself for what I've managed to do. My life looks unbelievably different to what it looked like 18 months ago. So please don't think that my current frustrations and disappointment mean that I'm not proud and over the moon with what I've managed to do overall, because I really am, I'm just not ready for this to be the end of my journey. And so I'm gonna keep working, I'm gonna keep trying, I'm gonna keep giving it a good old go and see what happens. So I hope that you've 
enjoyed or found this update interesting I don't know I just want to thank all of you for the support you've given me on this journey so far because it honestly has meant the absolute world I feel so lucky to have a community that's ex as accepting and caring and loving as I do here on YouTube because I know not everyone has that and it means the absolute world so just thank you to each and every one of you please let me know what content you want to see from me weight loss wise I'm obviously going to be updating you on my 50 day challenge I'll keep checking in with somewhat regular weight Weight loss updates I don't know like obviously over the 50 day challenge I'm going to keep you updated on the weight loss but in terms of these dedicated videos maybe every three months being realistic I don't know let me know what you want to see but yeah thank you so much again for watching for putting up with my rambling and my irregular updates uh, I just just thank you guys for all of it and thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video do check out the link in my description if you want to try them out for yourselves I will see you very very soon and I'll have an update for you on how the first week of the 50 day challenge is going if you want quicker updates though definitely check out TikTok and Instagram thank you and I'll see you next time bye